zucchini, goat's cheese and mint pizza. I love the combination of flavours in this pizza, the freshness of the mint and the zucchini with that saltiness of the goat's cheese. And it's such a beautiful summer pizza as well and I love that we've done pizza bianco with this, meaning no tomato base through it. You'll need zucchinis, goat's cheese, select extra virgin olive oil, flour and yeast. Click below for the recipe and full list of ingredients. The first thing we're gonna need is to make a dough. So we need to bring together our yeast and the liquids as well. So we need a teaspoon of yeast and a teaspoon of honey. And we want a good pinch of salt, which is normally about, you know, just under half a teaspoon. I always like to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in here as well. And do you want to pour the water into sure. there? Sure. I always bring together the warm water, the yeast, the olive oil, the honey, and that little pinch of salt and let it sit so the yeast can activate. We're going to sift the flour onto the bench, make a well and pour the yeast mixture into the centre and combine. When the dough is formed, start to knead using the palm of your hand. Place the dough into a grease mixing bowl, cover with plastic wrap and a damp tea towel. Now what I want to do is put this in the warmest place in the kitchen to rest mm -hmm. for at least kind of 20, 30, 40 minutes. The longer the better, and that'll start to triple in size for sure. While that dough's proving, we can start to think about what we're going to put on top. And in this case, we said we're going to be doing zucchini, right? Mm hmm So we could do that in a few ways, but I always like doing ribbons with the potato yes. peeler. Looks so beautiful. Which is a lovely thing to do, yeah. Woolworths Aussie Grown Zucchini have a subtle, slightly sour flavour that work well in so many dishes. Look for brightly coloured firm zucchini with a glossy skin. For the pizza topping, crush two cloves of garlic and some salt in a mortar and pestle. When a paste forms, drizzle in some olive oil, lemon juice and combine. Season the zucchini ribbons with salt, pepper, lemon juice and rind. This has risen. It's ready to go. So I want to knock the air out of this now, which is really easy to do. I'm just going to take a small amount of flour and just give this a really quick knead, just literally for 30 seconds or a minute. So Bridget, I'm just going to cut this in half and then jump in with the rolling pin. So what I always do is just give it a little bit of a lift up yeah. just to make sure it's not stuck. So I'm just going to pop that straight onto here to smear some of this garlic oil straight over the top here. I'm just going to grab some Parmesan cheese. Just a bit of a grating over the top. And I might follow through with the zucchini. This looks beautifully dressed. So I'm going to pop this straight into the oven. All we have to do now is we're going to cook that for about eight minutes, bring it out. It should yep. be nice and brown. The zucchini will start to be brown a little bit. We'll go in with some goat's cheese. Mm. Back into the oven till that's melted. Yep. Out, and then I think it needs fresh herbs. All right, I think this is done. So I'm just going to pop that straight on. That looks fantastic. Beautiful. And then we just start tearing over the top. And the mint brings so much to this. And that smell of the pizza when it comes out of the oven mm. is so good. I love it. All this needs is a final drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, which is going to bring a whole nother level of flavour to this again. A fun, easy and tasty summer dish. Zucchini, goat's cheese and mint pizza. Be sure to like the Woolworths Facebook page to get updates as new recipes become available. Click on any of these other dishes for more great value recipes. All ingredients can be purchased at your local Woolies and online. Everything you need to bring Christmas together is just around the corner at Woolies.